it's a beautiful day today. So, I'm taking you with me because I'm packing and cleaning the RV. And I told you I would do it. We're leaving in the morning. Jamie flushed the system out and filled it with water. And I am packing it, cleaning it. So, we'll try to do this while you watch and not knock you over too bad and make you sick while I am doing it. I'm using my little wagon. I'll show you. I'm bringing the stuff out with my wagon. It's much easier than carrying it. And then I can't see where I'm going and stuff. And so, there. I love my little wagon. But I realize my house is good for it because we don't have stairs going into the house. If you have stairs going into your house, it may not be good. Okay, so we try to clean it when we leave. I mean, pack it up for the winter, but sometimes we don't do very good. Some people said it was not organized. It is too. I know where everything is. Okay, let me get you settled here. All right, I'll have to admit, I got a little discouraged because I came out here and we got some food I wanna put in the fridge. And I opened up the fridge. Can you see? Mildewed. So I got a little depressed because I'm like, oh, because I know I'm the one who has to clean it. Now, I cleaned it when we left and I try to leave the door open so that it doesn't mildew, but somehow it got shut. I don't have control over everything. So here we go. We got to clean it. So I got my gloves. Because I don't want to touch it. Disgusting. Mildew. Okay. And I got my chloric uh, cleaning water. So, I'll just talk while we do it. I'll, t I'll have to admit, I got... I was just going to tell you this. I got a little depressed. <sighs> I went... Uh, in the house to get some more stuff on the list. And then I laid on the bed because I was watching a movie, not a movie. It was love stories gone wrong or something. It was quite entertaining. So I was watching it and then I just got, the more I laid there, the more depressed I got. I don't want to do it. <sighs> And I just, you know, have you ever done that before? <sighs> and the more I laid there, the more depressed I got. And I just was tired. And then I kind of maybe started dozing off. I don't really know what happened. But, and then I thought, I don't want to go. <laughs> because it's so much work to get going. And then I said... What am I doing here? Feeling sorry for myself, laying here, thinking about having to do something, work. Just get up and do it. So I had to tell myself that to get out of my depression. Get up and do it. Oh, that was a mistake. And so here I am now, I'm doing it. And I need paper towels, I think, first. Now, it's kind of hard because, you know, it's little in here. So I just sit right down on the floor and get involved in it because you can't bend over and do it. And you can't bend over to do it and you can't, um, 
so you just get down, right? Get right on down there. Great. I know I'm gonna need more paper towels than that. Well, this will get out the big chunkettes of the mildew is what my goal is. Uh, it looks like some one of my son's rentals, the people leave, but they were living in that. So I can't understand how anybody could eat out of a fridge and live in a place that was filthy like that. It's disgusting. Oh, the freezer's good. I wonder how come the freezer doesn't mildew, but the rest does. It's okay, you don't have to tell me. Anyway, so I was thinking, I need to tell the people, if you're depressed and laying there, just laying there, being depressed, just get up. That's your first clue. Just get up off of the bed. Because it's not going to change when you're just laying there thinking about it. That's my lesson for today. And then Jamie got a friend, a, fun, a friended, a funded, offended because he, when I said, he goes, are you going to go clean out the fridge out there? Because he saw me with the bowl of soap water and stuff. I said, yes, if I don't do it, no one else is going to. Well, he got offended and said, oh, well, I've been doing stuff all morning to get ready. I said, I know you have. I'm not saying that I, you were bad at it. Just saying, I got to go do it. So, we got all day. It's not like I, you know have to do it right this minute. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. This is this trick. I have the wet, wet rag. I'm gonna lay it down in here and let it soak right there. And then it will be soaking the dirt off when I come back, cause it's not wiping right off. I don't know why. So I'm gonna let the rag soak on it. And then when I come back, it will be good. We think, we think, okay. Cause you know, basically I'm really a lazy person. If you knew me, I tell people, I'm really low energy and I really have to make myself do things. Cause really, I'm kind of lazy. All right, now, I guess I'll just keep wearing my gloves. Cause if I take them off, I won't be able to get them on again. But I need to wipe my hands on something. I have to re re reorientate myself where everything is out here. Okay. This is Jamie's clothes up here. We've always put his clothes. This is the dirty clothes bag, I think. We've always put his clothes up here. And so, I'm going to keep putting his clothes up here. Because that's, he knows where they are. Do these look familiar? Yes, they do. Alright. Now, I'm taking my foldable chair. It's perfect. I had to take my Sunday clothes. So, my high heels for Sunday church. We're going, we'll be going to two churches. One with my son, Cameron. He's a church goer. So up in the Dallas, Oregon. Oh wait, this is mine. The my clothes, not his. And so, now my husband does not change his pants every day, especially when we're on vacation because he doesn't do that much dirty stuff. And here's his shirt. One, two, three, four. I got him five shirts. You might think that's not enough. It is. Because he, like I say, every time I take him clothes, he never wears them all. So I've learned just pack less. Because he's not ever going to wear them all. Okay, this is fine. I gotta make his bed, and I gotta see if I have sheets here and stuff. 
because I can't remember. Yes, I do. I have his sheets. And I got this dress to wear Sunday if it's warm. And I have another dress to wear if it's chilly. Because I don't know what the weather, I mean, I looked at the weather, but I don't know what it's really going to be. Now, see, I did it easy for my clothes because I pack in this bin. And so all I have to do is shove it under because this is my clothes all packed there. So all I have to do is take the bin and put it right under here. And I'm packed with the lid. Except Jamie's put something on the other side, taking up my space. And here's the lid here. And I'll fix that later. Okay, so this is his bed. And then I have this bin that we leave up here on top. Oh, I do have one of these already. And I leave he it up here on the nightstand. I don't know what this stuff is. Still don't know. It's a pipe. Oh no, this is a handle. I See, we have a handle here that he could sit up with. I got this handle for him to put right here to hinge himself up. So we put this crate right here by the in between the beds to put stuff in. And then it's like a table there. It's perfect. It's really good because we need that for the remote, the iPad, all the stuff that you have by your bed at night. All right. I got this little clock from Temu wonder if it needs it's still working all right so that's good all right here's a bed I'm gonna make it and I use these in the window because like they have the automatic shades in the windows but you could see through the cracks and Jamie thinks I'm nuts and I went outside looking at nighttime in the dark to look what you can see through those cracks at night you could see a lot so I have these and I put them up there in be behind or in front and Jamie goes nobody can see well he doesn't have breasts you know that could be seen through those cracks sitting here while I change and dress and everything he did they all they could see is his chest and that isn't anything for a man anyway so I had to go out there and take my camera and take pictures and the video to show him what you could really see out there so he would believe me because he thought I was just being paranoid and I wasn't so I do that I have to prove things because he just thinks I'm nonsense and I'm not I don't want anybody seeing me because one time we were in Sedona and I love that town in Arizona Sedona now, this is a king size sheet, and I just leave it folded in half, and then he gets inside of it like a sleeping bag for the sheet. That works perfect. So, we were in Sedona, lovely place, and um, I was sitting in the car, the van here, and watching in this parking lot, and this lady was in a camper, and she started changing her clothes, changing her shirt and stuff. And she thought she wasn't being seen, but I could see everything, the whole thing. And Jamie's like, he wasn't there. So if he would have seen it, then I could have proved it to him. But I didn't get to because he wasn't there. So anyway, I know what's possible. Now, I gotta charge my things. What things am I talking about? Okay, this is my Jackery. And I, this is the 500 Jackery. And it's really powerful and good. 
because I can put my heater or my electric blanket or anything into it. But I'm sure it's dead. So I need to plug it in and charge it so that we'll be all ready, powered up. It'll charge. I have the cord to charge while we're driving too with the, into the car. But I need this. I like to be uh, ready because if we park at Walmart in the parking lot to sleep, then I um, want to make sure. Okay, it's on. Let's see. I want to see what it went down for the winter. Oh, that's the light. Four, 48. So it stayed pretty good all winter out here for my emergencies. So, and then I have this jackery that is, and it's only a, I think, yeah, 240. And so it's not, you can't, like, see this little heater that I bought? It is a five, 400 watt. So I can plug this into that one, but this is only a 240, so I can't plug it into that. Oh, we got some pills in here. A pill. I wonder what this is. I gotta see this. Actually, I have two of these heaters. Okay, that's good. What else is in here? There used to be a TV right here, and it had the cable cords and everything. Here's a pill. But we never did, uh, I'm sure it's Jamie's, a heart pill or something. Uh, we never did watch the TV, and this was a lot of valuable space right here. And so I told Jamie, I'm taking it out. And so I did. And so now we have space to put this stuff. And I'm going to plug, charge this one up. See, now this is the name brand one that's supposed to be so good. That's an off-market one. Oh. 77%. So it didn't lose much all winter. Okay. What cords do I have here? Cards everywhere. I have to label them. Do you do this? See, I write on it. The Jackery charger. Because how many times do you see cords laying around and you're like, what's that to? I don't know. I don't remember. And I'm gonna say it again. You're not going to like it. Some people aren't going to like it. But if I died, <laughs> people would wonder, what the heck? What is that for? I mean, I hope I don't die, but it'll make life easier for people who don't know what all these cords are for and where to go. So that's the whole reason behind me labeling everything and you think you can remember oh I remember that plug that goes to that when you get a year by and a whole bunch of plugs sorry you don't remember okay I gotta look what's in here to see all right good these are my charging cords you know I try to have double duplicates and earphones and flashlights and so I don't have to bring mine out, so I'm glad to know that. And then I have this light, if it's electricity, if we have it. All right, now, there's one more thing I need to plug in. I'll show you one more thing. See, now I feel much better out here working than I did sitting in my house thinking about everything I had to do. Do you know what this is? Now, let's hope I can find the cord for that. Oh, wait, and I need something else in here. Oh, a fire stick. I needed my fire stick. My son needs it. I told him I had one. Here's a little lantern. Never used it. What is all this stuff? have a speaker because the speaker to that TV was so horrible too. What is this? Is this a, a, oh, a bank charger? Huh. Glad I labeled that. Another cord. A remote. 
solar charger. Okay. What is this? Oh, this is the papers that go to that. The Jackery papers. Okay. But I'm looking for the charger for this. I have an electric clock in here with an alarm because you know if we spend the night somewhere and we have to get up early to go somewhere I have that earphones these kind of earphones because Jamie doesn't always like to hear what I'm liking to hear and here it is and luckily I labeled it DVD player this is my portable DVD player. And I gotta charge it, because at nighttime, if we don't have electricity, I wanna watch a movie, then I need this. I don't like to just sit and stare in space. But of course now we have phones that are so smart. I didn't have phones that were smart years ago. All right. <coughs> Plug it in, make sure light's on or something. How do I know it's going to be charging? How do I turn it on? Oh, right here. I don't know if that plug's working. Yeah, let's see. Okay. And I have a ton of DVDs that I watch. All right. That was on my to-do list. Get those charged today. And... I think Jamie's gonna need, nope, he has another, his blanket's right here. This is a real thin blanket, and sometimes you need just a thin blanket, and sometimes you need more heavy duty. A remote, on or off. I'm, I didn't label it, so now I don't know what the remote's for. And this is a heavy duty cord to plug into the uh, cigarette thing. Now, this was a TV thing. I probably don't even need this out here. See, Jamie doesn't do this electrical stuff. He doesn't know how to hook anything up like that. He can build a house, but he can't hook up your VCR and stuff to your TV. All right, I'm still looking for that. Here's my books to read and my DVD players up here. I mean my DVDs and the extra light bulb and books to read. All right, try and see what else is in there. I don't know what this remote goes to. So it only just has an up and down and on and off. What would that be? Okay, I'll put that in there. All right. We're making headway. Well, I am. You're probably not watching me. You're not doing anything. You're watching me. All right, now, here's my closet. And I got my things in here. I brought this dress. It's not my favorite dress, but it won't wrinkle. Here's what you do. You pull the bottom of the dress up and you put it over the hanger. And that's how you do dresses that don't fit. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to come back here and see if my rag, rag soaking worked. Let's see. Well, kind of. A little. But it's gross still. Of course, the soaking is not going to make it go away. I need some more paper towels. I don't know if I have any more in, out here. I do, look. More paper towels. So. I, um have a thermometer is it called a thermometer to see how cold your refrigerator is because it's supposed to be isn't it, in the 50s 
I think it's supposed to be 50 something. I don't remember really. I'll look it up before we leave so I'll know. But it's plugged in so it's working. At least we know it's working. It's the greatest thing because then when you're camping and you don't have electricity, it runs on a propane. And then if you're out of propane, like driving, it runs off the battery. And Jamie bought the new battery, so we're set. I hope. We're set. Okay. Okay, I got my cleaner, Clorox cleaner here. But I'll tell you what happened. You're gonna think, that doesn't say Clorox cleaner. Yes, it does. Because this was the, the scrubbing bubbles and it was gone. But my Clorox Fantasia cleaner, the sprays quit working. And I'm not throwing it away. So then I had to go in and get the other spray bottle when it emptied and dump it in. Then I relabeled it. So that's why it's like this. So you know how some of those spray bottles, the crap, and something happens to them. And I don't know how you make them pump and work again. Maybe there's a way to prime them or something, but I never found it to be. So, I'm just glad the refrigerator works because it would be horrible to go camping and live without a refrigerator cooler, I think. So, Jamie ran the errands and I packed for him and me this morning. I had started yesterday, but I finished this morning matching my outfits to make sure I had the shirt and pants outfit to match. And my main color, I'm just taking black pants to match every shirt and black leggings, black everything. And then you don't have to take so many everything. But Luckily, it's just family. I'm not trying to show off to meet anybody. As in, when I came out, like when I married Jamie, and I was trying to put on the dog to look really good or whatever, impress somebody, you dress different. Sorry, I see this drawer here dirty. I have to clean it too. And the carpet in here, I hate it. And if Jamie would agree, I would tear it up and put a wood floor or vinyl or something in. But he, we don't use it enough and he isn't capable anymore, I don't think. If he wanted it, he would could do it. But he isn't caring one bit. So I can't do it myself we did buy an old trailer one time travel trailer and we remodeled it and I reupholstered all the cushions and did everything and he put a new floor in it and made it really nice and but then when we sold the ranch we bought a fifth wheel a really nice fifth wheel so then we sold that old trailer but now, we have this. I like this better than having a dragging behind you trailer because the dragging behind you trailer, going through, driving through towns and stuff is scarier. And Jamie's a good driver because he had a ranch and had all those trailers he had to drive and built houses so he had trailers he had to go get supplies and so he knows how to drive trailers well but he doesn't do well in city traffic he doesn't like it, it makes him nervous because he's not used to it so this is much better for him okay 
I think it's looking much better. Perfect now. There's something blue right here on there, but it's not mold. So once I get this done, I'm gonna feel much better for the day. And I gotta go record and do the flex zone. Flex, all joy. No, it's all joy. They, get, they sent us some, um, what are they called? These leg things, they're gonna help Jamie. So the first one they sent, I couldn't make it work and stuff, so they sent me another one. So now I'm gonna do the video of it for you. And I know you're not gonna like it much because, you know, of course they want you to buy the stuff. But if you needed it, then you know where to go to get one. But anyway, so I'm gonna do that. And then I dyed my hair last night for the trip. So everyone will think that, you know, I don't have gray hair. They already know I do. They have to dye theirs too, so of course they know. But maybe not the people at the gas stations don't know. Okay. All right. Now, I bought this rubber mat here. This has been the best thing because before this ugly carpet was horrible and then people tracked in and made it messy. So this rubber mat and it's kind of cushiony. So I'm right, really glad I got it. Okay, we have oranges. I went to the store and bought oranges and then Jamie went to the store <laughs> and he bought these. So we have plenty of vitamin C stuff. That's good. Because we need it. You know, like when you travel, you just tend to eat junk food, but we don't want to. Okay. Now, that will be good. And then I have these. I want to put a drink in there. But it's not big enough to put all your drinks. So you just put one at a time. And then when you get one out, you put another one in. That's what I found. I do. Okay, I'm glad that's done. I did it. So, all right. I think you're done watching me. You're probably sick of it and thinking, this is so boring. I hate this. Shut up be done. So now I'm done. Oh, and here's what I bought too. There are snacks, pudding snacks. And then Jamie, he doesn't like the diet, so I got him the banana. I don't like banana. So we'll put these in the fridge for our little desserts while we're driving. I'll fix them later. I have more groceries to bring out. And I'll do that later. When I have more time. Okay. So, I'll see ya. And, um, that's all for right now. <laughs>